what you see here is an apple tree. Yesterday we did some experiments in which we measured whether an apple was more dense than water. And we discovered that an apple floats in water, so it is less dense than water. And finally, we were able to pick the apple out by putting it in our mouth. Today, we are going to look at the same subject, but in a slightly different way. I have here a jar with some water in it. You can see the water. Now, I'm going to put some olive oil into the jar. Do you think that the olive oil will float on the water or sink into the water? In other words, is it more dense or less dense than the water? Okay, well, let's do an experiment and put some oil in. So this is a bottle of olive oil, you can see that. And I'm going to pour some of it in there. Now, can you see what happens? Is the olive oil at the top or at the bottom? It's actually floating on the water because it is less dense than the water. Now what happens if I put a marble into the olive oil here? So that's a marble and if I drop it in, do you think it will float on the olive oil or sink into the water? So here's a marble. A marble is made out of uh, glass. Okay, it's a very dense uh, object, so it just fell right to the bottom of the water. Now, I have a friend. Uh, he's called uh, Terry. His first name is Terry. And his second name is Anchula. It is, in fact, a spider and he doesn't mind me playing with him. So if I put the spider into this mixture of olive oil and water, do you think that the spider will float or sink? Here, here's Terry, and I'm putting Terry into the jar, and can you see whether he's floating? Oh, he's floating. So Terry is actually lighter than the oil. So why does it matter if some things are more dense than others? Well, here's an experiment that you can do with your school rucksack. So your school rucksack looks uh, something like this, okay? The first thing you should do is, when your dad has cut all the grass, yeah, so this is a bag full of grass here, yeah? you can see, here. Yeah. Put that into your rucksack, like so. Okay, and see if you can carry it. So, those lumps of grass are much less dense than stones. So I can easily carry my rucksack. I can even jump about with, without any problem. Yeah, you can see that. Now, what happens if I replace those, replace the grass with stones? Let me show you. So here I have some stones. They're actually pebbles. And I've got loads of them. I'm going to put them into my rucksack and see whether I can jump. So here I'm putting the box of pebbles into my rucksack. Put this on my back and I can hardly move. Yeah? I can't even jump a little bit. And that's because stones are much denser than grass and if I fill my bag up with stones it's much much heavier than if I fill it up with grass. 